Carol, the first ever Ghost in the Museum tour will be happening at the Chemung County Historical Society. WNY's Max Coben stopped by the museum to get a preview of the event. Max? Good evening, Nick. Yeah, the all new ghost tour is all indoors and it is actually a version of the famous ghost walk at Woodlawn Cemetery that happens annually around Halloween. This is what hints were dropped to us about the guided tours that are usually not offered to the public. So we're doing our brand new program, Ghost in the Museum. Uh, it's an opportunity for folks to come and hear some new ghost stories. On Saturday, the first Ghost in the Museum event will take place at the Chemung County Historical Society. Stories and behind the scenes spots will be open to visitors. It's a little bit secret, but it, it does involve going on the third floor and using a staircase that's not normally used. Everything began in 1923, and that's where the actors and actresses come into action. I'm portraying a librarian, a researcher. I'm talking all about the life of Dr. Arthur Booth, who contributed a lot not only to Elmira, but the Historical Society as well. Um, he was a really busy man. Um, I think one of the most uh, significant things that I learned is that um, he was not only a medical doctor, but he did a lot in the community. Today, the actors and actresses portraying characters had a dress rehearsal. Two other characters include Miss Fanny Brooks and David B. Hill. Well, one thing I would like to share is that Fanny Brooks was the mother of the first African-American graduate at Cornell University. He went on to study law there and practice law here in Elmira. I play a maid, <laughs> and as maids go, they hear and see a lot of things, and so I get to tell about the rising of uh, David B. Hill, who uh, went on to become the 29th governor of New York. One of the most respectful ways that you can honor history is to remember it. And that is what the Ghost in the Museum event focuses on. Okay, and Nick, while the tours are sadly sold out tomorrow, the Chemung County Historical Society offers events like this year-round. So if you visit our website, WENY.com, click on that story. We'll have all those events that are coming up. And furthermore, the Historical Society hopes to turn this first event into an annual event, and they'll determine that after this weekend. Nick.